Community-engaged research allows me to merge my head and my heart. My head, the academia, says that research is important, but my heart says there are people that are equally as important. The more challenging the math courses are, especially when you get to the high school or university level, the less diverse those classes are among the student population. The trend has to stop. And um, it's not going to stop unless we all roll up our sleeves and do something. My community engaged work is primarily centered around this, um, this policy that we have in Minnesota of eighth grade algebra. Every eighth grader has to not only be enrolled, but should be successful in algebra. What I have found, though, is that students are already coming into eighth grade already behind. So my, my question was, how was this policy going to affect students who were already underrepresented or who already were struggling in mathematics. So the program that I am most intimately in, involved with is Prepare to Inspire. And what that actually does, it's a, it's a near peer cohort of students where undergraduate students from the University of Minnesota are tutoring high school students and then those high school students are tutoring the eighth grade students. This is something that I developed on, on a napkin. We have students who are now raising their ACT scores high enough, and now they're not only entertaining the idea of going to the University of Minnesota, but they actually are accepted. Parents stop by and talk to us about the success or the, the different way that their students are viewing themselves or mathematics um, or school. And teachers also come and they talk to us about the difference it makes in the discourse in their classrooms. And I've had the opportunity to work with over 600 students who I see in the grocery store, who I see on the street, who I see on the college campus. This partnership I have with the community allows me not just to, um, to help, but it also allows me to learn as far as what are the needs, what are the gifts, how can I be a conduit to make sure that the community that I serve actually is a part of the University of Minnesota because I think then we can all feel more comfortable um, on campus and in the community. Those shouldn't be two separate places.